Hey guys and welcome back. Today we are going to see how we can change theme for one activity. Let's say we have a common theme for the entire app and we just want to change theme for one particular activity or it can be more than one activities. Anyways, now let's just see how we can do that. So I will just create one simple project with empty activity. Let's run the app to see the color or to see the theme of the activity. So this is the default theme. Now let's create one more activity so that we can change the theme of the second activity and we can compare it with the first activity. Now let's get into the manifest file. From here we can change the theme by two ways. You can see there is one common theme for the entire application that is theme.myapplication. Now to define a particular theme for a particular activity, we have to get into the activity tag corresponding to that activity. And then we will just add one property that is android theme and then from the options you can select any of the theme that you want to choose let's say we choose this theme dot app compact day night no action bar but to see this activity we will have to create one button in the first activity so that we can navigate to the second activity so i will just quickly define one button in the main activity or the first activity Let me change this to relative layout. It's easier to work with relative layout. And let me center align it vertically. All right. Then get into the main activity java class. Here we will define and declare the button. And then we have to bind the view of the button. And let's use this id button activity 2. So I will just copy it from here and I will use the same id in the xml file of the same activity. All right, then just import the class. Then I will set a on click listener on this button so that when this button is clicked, the second activity is opened. So I will just directly start the activity with the new intent. It's very simple. I don't think I need to explain this part. And anyways, this video is not about this topic. So I will just quickly get it done. And in the same way, let's create the button in the second activity. And I will make the required changes. All right. Then I will define the button in the XML file of the second activity. All right. Then let me run the app. So we have the two activities. Now let's click on the button. 
and you can see the second activity is having a different theme with no action bar so that was one way to use a different theme for a particular activity that is by choosing one of the predefined theme now the second way is by defining a new theme now we can also use personalized themes with different activities so just like the way we have a common theme which is named as theme.myapplication i will define a new theme and let's rename it to theme my application 1 then we need to define this theme now this is the same theme which was defined as the common theme for the entire application that is theme.myapplication and it is having the parent theme as the day night dark action bar so what i will do is i will just quickly copy this entire style tag and paste it then i will change the name to theme my application 1 so these two are different themes now and the first theme is being used as the common theme for the entire application if we have more activities then the first theme will be applied to all of those activities except the main activity 2 now we can just change the primary colors then run the app and you can observe the changes in the theme now if you want you can make it no action bar so there will be no action bar in the second activity you can see that in the same way you can personalize your theme in other ways also like you can change the status bar color status bar is the bar which is in the top of the screen which contains the informations which are useful to the user like network status or the notifications in the app you can see the color of the status bar has changed also if you want you can get rid of the status bar by getting a full screen so i will just get rid of this and i will define a new item with name window full screen then the value has to be true and then you close the item tag run it now in the second activity you can see that we don't have any bars we have a full screen so anyways in this way you can go ahead and personalize the second theme in different ways and you can use that theme for one or more particular activities in the same way you can define many themes for different activities that is totally up to you thanks for watching